What do you guys think? What do you got there? What is that thing? <laughs> this is one of those like caddy things, it's right? It's a cat, you know the golfers outside? Mm-hmm. I think one, it's, it's busted, but I think it can work. <laughs> Unfold it. And tell me what I'm thinking. You got, I got there you, you go. Oh, there it is. Originally, I saw it downstairs, and I was thinking, man, this would be great, like the Hall Cabby and the P47 and yes. the P38, because oh, we're always walking around. Foldable plane. But, hey, but hey, foldable hey, plane. Cabby. That, that's it. What are you guys down for a 24-hour belt? I'm always down with a 24-hour belt. Let's take 24 hours. Let's make this piece of junk fly, but also be foldable. Yes. Sounds good. Foldable, flyable, 24 hours. And for five bucks. Five, five bucks. <laughs> Go. <laughs> Alright, so a lot of you guys are probably wondering why there's these things for sale in our office building downstairs. It's actually because we're on a golf course, and it's not just any golf course. It's our home. Yes. Matter of fact, about 300,000 of you have become new family members since this happened. But basically, we bought a golf course to make a location where you and your family can come out and fly and enjoy. Yeah. Oftentimes we say flight test family. We mean that in every sense of the word. A family has to have a home. We communicated that vision, did a crowdfund, and you guys responded in a powerful way that brought us here today. It was actually about this time last year when things started to get crazy. We had a ton of support through our Indiegogo. Thank you to all of you that contributed. And for those of you who are new around here, if you're in the Ohio area, make sure you come out because this is not just a channel that you get to watch. This is a channel that you get to partake in. You can build these planes, you can come out and you can fly them. We've been building a lot of big airplanes. We've had Caddy, we've had you know the P-38s, big monstrous airplanes. We're yet to make one here that can truly you know go with you wherever you want. And just like this Caddy here folds down and fits in your trunk, our goal here is to build an awesome airplane, but also make it so the whole entire thing can either fit in your back seat or in your trunk. Oh, I got my Honda, so I'm gonna put you to the test, see if Honda it will fit test. in the back of my Honda. What yep. do you got planned for the airplane design part of this? All right, so I wanna go simple. Just like this folds up, I really wanna concentrate on simplicity and flight. So I'm gonna go ahead and borrow the wings from the Simple Cub. I'm gonna supersize those to make roughly an 80 inch wingspan. But also, I'm gonna go ahead and go to a V-tail. And V-tail is something we don't really oftentimes visit, but it offers a lot of unique benefits. And I want this to fold up without any, you know, excessive modding. We know we're gonna to to take off the wing, but besides that, I want the whole thing to fold up and go into your Honda trunk. Cool, so you and Bob, I believe, are gonna get working on the wing. Yep. I'm gonna get the electronics gathered up, and we're gonna to get to work. We're gonna have some fun. Let's do it. All right, so before we get any further into this build, I wanted to sit down and take the time to actually pair up my new Bluetooth earbuds from Raycon, who actually also happens to be the sponsor of this video. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with Raycon or just Bluetooth headsets in general, I gotta tell you what, it's pretty much a game changer in terms of listening to music, podcasts, when you're working out in the gym. Wireless is definitely a way to go, especially if you're active, if you're working out in the gym, or if you're working here in a nerdy uh, hobby shop like myself. <laughs> So Raycon was founded by a gentleman that you may know, his name is Ray J, and he was tired of overpriced, expensive, premium audio headsets. And so he formed a company to kind of come up with an affordable solution. He teamed up with a couple of his audio engineer friends, and here we are today, listening to some sick Raycons. And here's the thing, let me tell you, I try to keep up on my tech stuff. I watch MKBHD, Unbox Therapy, keeping up to date on all this stuff, and I've even tried a lot of the wireless headsets that are out there today, and I gotta be honest, these things sound legit. Here's the best part about all of this, is you can click the link in the description below to get access to Raycon's Black Friday and Cyber Monday deals. Specifically, these little guys right here, these blue guys, not only are they my favorite color, um, but these are the E25s. Another great thing about these little E25s is they come in eight different colors, so you can definitely distinguish which ones are yours. Not only are they incredibly convenient being wireless, but also they come in at about half the price of a lot of Raycon's competitors. So again, if you wanna upgrade your earbud game today, Click the link in the description below to get access to Raycon's Black Friday and Cyber Monday deal. Huge shout out to Ray J and all the folks over at Raycon, not only for making amazing products like these little headsets, but also for supporting flight tests. It's because of awesome sponsors like them that we're able to do what we do. And by you guys checking out the link below, it's like synergy. We're all working together and it really makes projects like this possible. So thank you so much. I'm gonna pop these earbuds in and get back to work. Let's do it. All right, so my good friend Bob came down here. We're building the wings right now. So the Simple Cup is a really easy design. And what I knew is I wanted about 80 inch wingspan. Just so happens that when I enlarge the Simple Cup, I get the cord I need. And all I have to do is just stretch it just a little bit. A couple other minor tweaks. I have my wings ready to go. Bob, this looks good. It does look good. It's really good. Our next step here is we got to make the V-tail to go on this. To mount this, it's kind of difficult to kind of get it on a square boom and make it strong. So what I drew was a couple of these brackets here pop around like that and then we'll put three of those on there and we'll actually cut them into the foam so when we set it down it'll have a really good glue surface so we got the tail on and then here's 
I, I can't stop it. I keep pulling the wings out too. Isn't that funny? <laughs> That's cool. That so, is so sick. So now we got to figure out how to make the wing sit on this properly. All right. The wing's going to go right about here, but I want to be able to adjust it for the CG. And you can see there's just nothing for it to go onto. So what I'm thinking is a similar bracket to the bottom, but what I'd like to do is have it kind of go and, and loop up around higher so this sits higher and then have like two carbon fiber dowels running that I can rubber band the wing on. We'll try that out. We'll do that. Let's do that thing. That's like my style landing gear right there. So this piece here is gonna lock it down because I didn't want to have to take the thing apart. So this will go up and then what I'm thinking is we'll screw and glue it. Um, but my concern is see how that robbles just a little bit of play and shimmy. Yeah. I think we're gonna need, I got doublers. I think we're gonna still need to have some form of struts. Yeah. But I'm so excited. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Are you gonna leave the motor mount loose like that? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna have it so the motor mount will, will have a pin, so it'll fold back like this, and then basically you just shove a pin in there. So it I want you to start it, start the motor with it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So the cool thing about this is this is where the golf bag would sit, and it would be it would be set down like this. This is gonna turn into our firewall for none other than our monster motor. This is our newest power pack. Uh, we have different size power packs for all different sizes planes, basically from a plane this big all the way up to a plane this big. And we're gonna just put it on there. It darn near fits perfectly. The only thing we gotta do is get rid of the center support here. So I got this here. I don't know what the uh, the technical term for this tool that is. It's called the coolest tool in all the world. Job Max. Uh, it surprises us every time we use it. Basically, it's this little tiny blade and it just wiggles real fast and just cuts everything that you put in front of it. So I'm gonna take this and try not to cut my finger off. It's like perfect tool for the job. <laughs> all right, let's see if it fits now. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so mad. I literally was like, I'll do all the servos if you do the motor. <laughs> Dude, that's a perfect fit. So now I'm just going to get a, a drill, drill out a couple holes, and we're going to be in business. All right. So we got a little problem here, Stefan. When this flies, there's so much mass on the bottom end here. Imagine I do a turn and the ailerons put force this way. Yeah. We're gonna have to have so many rubber bands to try to make this 100% rigid. Mm. What I think I'm gonna do besides screwing with a piece of metal <laughs> is gonna put struts. And we've used struts a lot. We've used them on cabbie, we've used them in our flying box car. Mm -hmm. Basically struts connect the wing on an outer portion to give more strength and leverage against the fuselage. Uh, keeps them from folding. Oh! I want this still to fold up, so I'm thinking we'll put it here and that way it'll just kind of fold up. Okay. Like great. Right like a hinge. Yeah, it'll be long enough where where it won't interfere. That's sweet. So it'll still be foldable putting the bag in front. So we got some vinyl here. We're gonna be doing uh, not a paint job this time. We're gonna be doing some vinyl job. We got a it's basic cold to paint. It's, yeah, it's pretty cold outside. We got a pretty basic vinyl cutter that you guys have been seeing. We've been using a lot and loving it. So I'm gonna hop on my computer, drop some basic graphics, maybe uh, edge water uh, slash golf theme, flight test slash golf combined into one theme. Give it kind of that golf feel. I like the way those white wall wheels look on it. So we're going with like a green and a white. I think it'll complement it real nice. And we're gonna take it over to the vinyl cutter, get it cut out. And we're gonna lay it out here on the wing and then we're gonna be pretty close to uh, getting this thing up in the air. So talk about a steep learning curve. The first piece of vinyl we put down, I tried to use back mask and it was a terrible disaster. I uh, figured out something really easy. You can actually just tear off the very front leading edge here and use the rest of this as back mask. Maybe this is how it's supposed to be done. <laughs> now, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this over. I'm gonna tack my one end down where it needs to go. And then my other end, that was pretty straight right there. And now, all I need to do is invert this. And as I pull, I can use my little squeegee thing. And now as I work it down, I just work the bubbles out. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> well, I want to see if that idea of the motor flipping forward will work. You're going to do it right now? We're going to do it right shot? now. Here's the thing is there's no leverage. Like it is so close to the hinge line, it's not even funny. So it's going to take a lot of thrust. Yeah, if it was like over on the pendulum, it'd take very little thrust, which means it wouldn't really mess up the earth. Here, hold anyways. on a second. Hold on. This seems scary. <laughs> Just going to hide behind here, okay? Ready? It works! Holy cow, is that... Sounds like a weird plane. <laughs> Let me do a thrust test. Ready? Oh, I, I see the terminal flaw on this. 
Oh no, it's, it's just wiggle. See we, that what that noise was? We gotta lock it down, watch. Does it feel like it has a lot of thrust? This is like eight hour. <laughs> We're good. <laughs> We're good. You got a sweet golf caddy plane. Thought process is why not play a little golf drops lawn with darts. some lawn dart action. I think any of the irons, any of the irons would do really what, well. What is an iron? That would be one of these right here. Gotta clean these, by the way. Yeah, they're gonna get dirty anyway, so it's all good. So we've got the nine iron, you got a six iron, you okay. got eight iron. So, you know, you got multiple options Wait, here. Here's the plan here. I'm thinking, how awesome would it be to have this like mounted right here, mm -hmm. like a dauntless dive bomber. And so I drew this little guy, and what will happen here is this is gonna clip on, and you see how this oh, that is gonna perfect. just nest right up in there, like that. And then we'll have a servo mount on the top with sticky tape and then the rubber band fastens around it. And then when this gets pulled out, it releases, bombs away. Do you think that'll work? I think that would be great. Got a bomb drop system. You'll see it in just a minute. Basically, Josh just got finished setting up a bomb drop, but it, instead of dropping bombs, it actually drops your sand wedge. Yeah. Uh, so when you're out on the field, you can drop it right in your hand and get the perfect shot. So Are you ready? it's on this switch right here. Let's see if it works. Three, two, one. <laughs> So we're going to be dropping some golf clubs in. If, if it flies. I mean, we have a new if test it flies. All right, so the plane is just, it's getting there. It's just about ready to fly. But before we do so, we had to put it to the test to make sure that it would fit in the back of your average standards mid-size sedan. <laughs> so I got my Honda here. You ready? You going to do the honors? Let's do it. Dude, I think we could fit two of them in here. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the fold wing. There's like a glove. Let's do it. Slam it. Let's head to the golf course. All right, so Josh is getting this plane ready. Um, we're about to take it to the sky out here on the golf course. Uh, unfortunately, there's no golfers this time of year. We just got hit with our first Snowball. first time the golf course hasn't been green in a long time but so before we take this thing up to fly i'd like to ask you guys to consider subscribing we noticed that a lot of you guys out there who are not subscribed who are watching our videos which we cannot thank you enough for watching but if you could also hit that free subscribe button it allows us to do these videos that we're doing for you right now it helps us out a ton so consider hitting that subscribe button and uh i see josh getting his controls tuned in here how are you feeling josh i, I programmed this like elevons subconsciously up down this here actually pushes the tail to the right, but the nose to the left. I gotta reverse it. So just one second. <laughs> always, always check your crap. Always check your crap. In terms of concerns, yes, we have a couple of them. Yes. Uh, I know Josh has a couple in particular. Me personally, I like the idea of tail draggers and I like the idea of V-tails, but one thing that I've never personally experienced is a V-tail tail dragger. <laughs> And so like typically you need that vertical rudder on the back uh, to really give you that yaw authority to, to keep the plane under control when you're taxiing with that tail dragon. Right. I think you'll have some control, but I'm just curious as to how, how well it's gonna actually work. That's fair. Yeah, no, I think we're ready. And I heard you talking about the tail dragger. I intended to put a tail wheel on it because I think the thing's gonna be squirrely. Yeah. Near. Well, and to be fair, you put the V-tail on there because the V-tail is crucial so it can still fold with the folding mechanism. Yeah. So you, kinda cool you can't win them all. Yeah. Are we ready guys? <laughs> I mean, I, I think it's about as good as it gets, my friend. I'm ready. Right. Please. Oh! oh she is so <laughs> underpowered. <laughs> she there. I don't. Oh my God. Fight what it. is going on right now, battery. Biggs? I'm gonna use it. Hold Look on. at that presence. Not enough power. Not enough power. Oh! What? <laughs> what a great landing! That's though. a great landing. All right. Dude. So I'm not gonna mess around here. We got a six cell battery. I wanted to fly a four yeah. cell, but just the, the, the main cart alone is like seven and a half pounds. It yep. looked heavy on she that little wing. 10 pounds <laughs> Josh has a tendency to make big planes with the smallest wing possible, so it looks cartoony yeah. and cute. And I think you accomplished that. Well, okay, <laughs> hey, we're gonna fix it right now. So basically what Josh is doing right now is he's upgrading to a bigger and more powerful battery. Um, these batteries, they're lithium polymer batteries, and inside the batteries there are different cell counts. Uh, he was using a four cell, he's moving it up to a six cell. The more cells that you have in a battery, more voltage, more power. Right. The prop's gonna spin faster, give it more power, more thrust, uh, hopefully fly this uh, golf cart plane 
way better. Right, awesome. and we're using a six cell 8,000 lumineer battery. <laughs> it's, uh, it's one of our go-tos. All right, so we made a couple changes. First yes. off, we forgot a BEC, which we've done a lot. Josh, what's a BEC? BEC is a battery eliminator circuit. Basically, if you have an ESC that has to have an internal battery supply and you overtax it, it does exactly what it did. Good news is we actually have new BECs that just came in, so we're actually running our prototypes on here. But uh, Sick. it's kind of one of those discipline things. You always think about like not only what is the uh, motor demanding, but also what are the servos Service demanding. Means, yeah. In this case, I loaded this thing up with really high torque high speed uh, flight test service. Yeah, so basically large, larger builds require a battery eliminator circuit to yep. basically help provide power, efficient or adequate power to the servos. Yeah, and we got that now. So beyond that, we're <laughs> still using the big old six cell luminaire yep. battery and uh, we propped it down. We did the responsible thing. But if you really need power, you go to six cell with a 16 inch three blade or an 18 inch two blade, it's awesome. It's cool, so it looks good. Alrighty, let's put it in the air. All right. Round two. All right, here goes nothing. Good luck, man. Get in the air, Lloyd, get in the air, yes. Ooh, you hit the yeah. thing again. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> All right, I am terribly nose heavy, but she is flying. She's up in her. Watch the tree. I'm not gonna lie, I'm full, I'm full up. I'm gonna go. <laughs> it's that nose heavy. It's that, I knew it was so, nose heavy too. So basically. But she's flying, she's <laughs> just flying, dude. The center of gravity is basically too far forward towards the nose. So what happens when you're flying a nose heavy plane, you gotta keep constant pressure holding back to keep that nose up the whole time. And that's exactly what we're doing. So but sick. Other than that, she <laughs> she's going, dude. Dude, from dream <laughs> to reality, phenomenal. In, in about maybe 10 hours of work. I love it. That's it's kind of fun to take junk that you buy for five bucks and turn it into something special. Yeah, that landing gear <laughs> looks amazing. It actually it, looks really cool. It really does. So I am a little nervous about the cold weather and the way that the motor shakes. That, that plastic's not made for strength. You mm. follow me? It's, <laughs> but it's flying. Oh, she's flying beautifully, Josh. I like this. I what's, what's the experience like? How's it feel? I don't awesome. think I want to do any aerobatics with it, <laughs> but uh, I think we can fix it and make it fly even better and maybe even take on a challenge or two with it. Why don't we see if we can bring her in successfully? Landing left to right. Now, the problem is you got to keep that throttle. So oh, she, yeah, she's heavy. heavy. It's dropping. Oh, oh, you took out a light. Oh, yes! Oh. yes. <laughs> Watch out, Austin. We didn't flip over. Yes. <laughs> yes. Great landing. Great landing. <laughs> no one denied. <laughs> no one <Boom>. denied. <laughs> All right, well, I, th I think we make some fixes. Maybe we'll adjust the CG, we'll push the limits. Something's gonna happen, either golf clubs are gonna fall or the plane is. <laughs> Sweet, here we go. All right, <laughs> golf club uh, bombing attempt number one. I mean, we barely flew before, what? What's the worry about <laughs> Just that, up right? in the ante on a, on a terrible flight. So she's heavier now. Come on, baby. Oh yeah! yeah! Does it feel better? She's better. <laughs> I mean, I'm With still full up, but who cares? <laughs> All right, guys. All There's right. Certain points where you take just it way up it. there. How how high can you go? Yeah, because like it needs time to like situate when it's dropping. Because those yeah. have fins. This. <laughs> <laughs> loitering. I see you do it now. One more lap. All right. <laughs> One more. Lap. The Sorry, suspense man. is killing us. <laughs> what well, you tell us what, Maddie? Dude, that's the highest uh, flying golf caddy. All right. Record. Three, right two, one. Here we go. It's not dropping. There it is! Oh, there it is! There it is! It's going! Oh, that's gonna stick in the ground. Oh, Did that hit a tree? I'm glad there's no golfers wow, out there today. Wow, this flies so much better now. <laughs> it was straight long dart though. <laughs> was oh, it long Austin's on it. It was coming straight down. Yeah. yeah. Hey, no, 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 no fins needed. On a good note, this plane is so much better. <laughs> I know you guys are really worried, but you bring her in. Land her. It's just sketchy looking coming in. It looks good. It looks good. <laughs> <laughs> she don't care. That's basically yes. a bush plane. It lands like a like a golf cart. Truck. That was awesome. <laughs> what do you say? You guys want to go check out the golf club? Let's go Let's check go the golf club out. Let's see if we can Woo. find a golf club. Dang. <laughs> oh my gosh. What? Dude, look Did at you this. See this. Look at this thing, man. <laughs> Perfect. I think we're good. Guys, we're making stuff fly all the time. We love taking random things and making them fly. Leave us some comments down below if you have any ideas of what you'd like to see us fly. If you want to see a giant battleship fly, you can check that out here. Subscribe if you haven't yet, and we'll see you guys next time. See ya. To really give you that, that y'all authority yes.